I'm Ewan McCaskill. I'm a reporter from The Guardian in London and I've come to Santiago uh, to tell the story of Roberto Kozak. He was a junior diplomat in 1973 when uh, the Allende government was overthrown by a military uh, coup. Um, I'm standing in the Villa Grimaldi, which is one of the most notorious uh, detention centres, a secret detention centre in Santiago, uh, where many prisoners were tortured, uh, killed and disappeared. Um, during the course of uh, this assignment, I'm going to speak to Roberta Kozak's uh, uh, widow, uh, uh, former prisoners, um, people who worked with them uh, and others to build up this picture. Kozak uh, is relatively unknown uh, both in Chile and definitely in the outside world and the story should be told. He was Latin America's Schindler. He helped save uh, the lives of about 30,000 people. Um, but it's not just his story, although it's a story worth telling in its own right. It's about truth and reconciliation. And that process hasn't fully happened in Chile yet. In Argentina, the people responsible for the dirty wars, have been, many of them have been arrested and jailed. The same process hasn't happened in Chile. And there's almost a reluctance to talk about what happened, uh, to regard it as something shameful that happened in the past. Um, many young people are not familiar with it. Even in the school textbooks, there's arguments about whether it should be referred to as a, um, a dictatorship or military government. Um, so um, Chile hasn't quite come to terms with what happened. So this is a story it's both historical, worth telling in its own right, but it still has a resonance today.